Hello and welcome. My name is Aaron and thanks for swinging by the Auto Trading Channel. This is Trading View Tuesdays and this is episode 8. Our main focus here at Auto Trading is to dive deep into the code of automated trading strategies. Today I'll show you how to create your very own custom candlestick pattern indicator. So without further ado, let's dive into it. All right, so have you ever thought that you saw a pattern in the price action chart and thought to yourself, hey, I just cracked the code to the stock market. Well, a great way to put that to the test is by creating a custom candlestick pattern indicator. Now, TradingView, um, they have a lot of the standard ones already uh, coded out for us. So if you click on indicators, and uh, come down here to technicals and then over to candlestick patterns uh, you can see that they have quite a few of these already listed out but what if you think that you're really on to something new right well we can figure that out and the best way to do that in my opinion is by creating code and that way we can run it against any time frame and any kind of uh, equity or crypto or anything that you want to throw at it. And uh, you can really see if your pattern starts to show up in the ways that you thought it did. And so what I did, I had that thought, uh, well, whenever we have a breakout candle, you know, one that does way, covers way more distance than the average candle. Well, does that typically give us a green light to get to a trade? And so uh, that's what I coded out. And I want to show you guys how I did that. And maybe you can uh, take this info and do the same for your thought. All right. So I went in, uh, the doji was the one that I knew the uh, most about right here, doji. And so I went in and I saw how they coded that out because I, last time I was coding consistently is in version four, I believe. And so version five is uh, different enough that it kind of throws me for a loop sometimes. Um, but anyways, let me show you uh, what we have, okay? We have the intro showing us version five indicator. I named this one the breakout candlestick pattern breakout. We want the overlay to show up. And then the two inputs that I wanted to be able to change is the length of our look back period. So how many bars are we gonna take the average of, right? Uh, 14 and 20 are super typical. Uh, for this kind of thing and so I just took 14 and then the uh, breakout factor is the other thing that I wanted us to be able to change in our inputs and so what that says at one it is just the standard um, ratio of the average bar but if we set it to two it's like okay I want my breakout bar to be twice as tall you know on the chart as the um, as the average bar or three would be three times or four four times and so those are our, our uh, inputs right there so the next section would be our um, equations that we want to code out and so for high low I needed to identify you know the distance between the high of the bar and the low of the bar, right? And then we wanted to find that average. And so we have a high low average. We decided, I decided to use the exponential moving average right here. And that is based off our high low, which is right here, and our length, which is input of 14. Now we needed to calculate our, the breakout and so we have our high low if that is greater than or equal to the high low average and our times our breakout factor 
And by doing that, we get the math to show us if our current bar is greater than the or equal to um, whatever we set our factor to. Now this next piece right here, this was brand new to me, but this um, is how we can set our label to show up either above the bar a certain amount or below the bar a certain amount. And so this is taken straight from the doji uh, code and I liked the way that it showed up and so I just uh, copy that and put it in here. And so we have our alert condition set uh, for whenever this happens. Um, I have not ran this in real time and so take the alert with a grain of salt. But lastly, we have our uh, if then statement <laughs> of where to uh, place this. And so I'll break this down. So this is saying if our C breakout um, and our close is greater than the open. So if that is true, right? And so our C breakout is the main math that is telling us if our current bar is greater than that factor or not. And so on C breakout, if that is true, and then when your close is above your open, that means it's a it's gonna be a green bar or a bullish bar. And um, likewise, we have the inverse down here in our second statement. But if all that's true, then we're gonna label this um, on the bar index and we're copying this pattern label position low right here I chose to change the text to B just for breakout and we're using the label style label up and we chose gray as the background color and white as the text color and then all we did for the second one is we Put the less than symbol here and then we did our position high and that way we have whenever the candle is coming down we have our label above it and when the candle is going up we have the label below it. and as you can see uh, this definitely works pretty well we can go to different Let's go to the one minute and you can see that's working pretty well. Let's come into the inputs and let's change these around a little bit so you can see that they work. Here we go. All right, so our factor is set to three. So whenever our breakout bar is three times the size of the average, let's go down to two. There's quite a bit more. So there you have it, my fellow Automates. That is how uh, you take a unique candlestick idea and you turn it into code. And in two days on Thursday, I'll show you how to do the same thing in TradeStation. To whomever, whenever, and however this finds you, I hope that it finds you well, and I hope to see you again soon.